my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's a really good question. Hi, it's Hannah from Spoonproof. It's me and this couch, and we're hanging out. And I've been getting some questions, and we're a couple episodes in, so I feel like it's time for us to really get to know each other on a deeper level. So I'm gonna play 21 questions with myself. <laughs> my favorite viral YouTube video is Chocolate Rain. Old classic. You should watch it if you have not watched Chocolate Rain. My first job was shoveling snow for the Miller family that lived down the street from me. Definitely Alan Rickman. I want to have dinner with Snape. Maxine Sunrise. Because it's the first, it's the name of your first pet and the name of the street you grew up on. So Maxine Sunrise is my super name. So good. I bought a Furby and it was like a limited edition Furby. So it had a graduation cap on it. It was very annoying and it would turn on in the middle of the night and it never spoke English. It's kind of a waste of money. Showgirls. My favorite classic movie is, if you consider it a classic movie, Titanic. Does Sailor Moon count as a comic character? She's awesome. She like turns into like this total badass and she gets a wand and she has special powers. So Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, telekinesis. I wanna move stuff with my mind and I don't wanna get up off the couch. To own a penny candy store. Because I, I mean, first of all, candy. And second of all, it's like, these are things that I like, and then I love to organize, and so it would just be like set up so beautifully, and I have all the weird candies in there, like the German raspberries, and like dots on the paper. I, that's my dream job, candy store owner. Oh my gosh. I would rather have fingers the length of toes. I feel like you can get away with having like tiny hands, but if you had, oh, that's hard. I'm putting my fingers on my toes right now. You know what, I would take, I would take toes the length of fingers, actually, because you'll never see them. They'll be in socks. I'll hide them. I don't know why it's so hard to think of people who are alive right now. Uh, can I say Obama? I would like to hang with him. He plays basketball, so I feel like that'd be fun. And also, like, he was the president, so that's cool, too. Um, oh, you know what? If I became president, the first thing I would do in office would be invite my mom to the White House, because I'm the president. Imagine if you were a parent, like what's your kid do? Oh, my kid's the president. What are the three things I would bring with me on a deserted island? I'd bring my childhood stuffed animal, Snowball. I would bring a water bottle, right? You could use that at some point. And I'll bring a deck of cards because you can play those by yourself. Yeah, it would be, you're beautiful, you got this. I interrupt people a lot. Like I'll just run over them because I just need to get what I'm thinking out of my mouth. My pet peeves are when people chew gum too loud, which I know I, I'm hypocritical because I chew gum so loud, but it's just like to hear it is like the most disgusting, obnoxious thing. Also a big pet peeve of mine is like dirty sleeves. I know that sounds ridiculous, but like the sleeve is dirty on this side because you're just like wiping it on something. I just think it's gross and it looks really bad. I would move to Japan because um, there's lots of cute stuff, the food is great, and also there's all these places to sleep, like you're like sleeping in a pod, and I just really like that. I like the feeling of like being enclosed in like a cocoon. I just feel like they understand like space really well, which I'm into, and fashion, and sushi, and Pokemon. I can't say Pokemon, can I? I don't know, they'll, they'll edit it out. So my name is Hannah Chloe Kaplan, and my mom named me Hannah because Hana actually means flower in Japanese. So my name translates to flower blossoming, which is so cute, I think. I hope you guys think so too. Glitter. Chapstick over lipstick, which sounds redundant and ridiculous, but it actually like makes it um, just like a lot easier to deal with. It like fills it all in, and then it's easier to take off at the end of the day. Everyone's been asking me where I got my t-shirt from episode one, and I got it from Urban Outfitters. So, if you have a problem with that, I'm, I'm very sorry. But I got it on clearance, it was like five bucks. So go see if it's still there. Or you can find it online. I believe in you. Okay, that was a lot of questions. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to answer your questions. And I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.